As the airplane levels off at cruise altitude, the VNAV climb page changes to the cruise page. The thrust limit changes to cruise. And the ICAS thrust reference also changes to cruise. If the cruise page is not displayed when the airplane levels off, the VNAV key may be used to display it. Display the cruise page. Note that the cruise page is VNAV page 2 of 3. The previous page and next page keys may be used to display the climb or descent pages. To illustrate this, display the descent page. Now display the cruise page again. As in the climb, the active airspeed and altitude are displayed in magenta. The target airspeed at level off is economy, as indicated by the title and target speed line. The EPR line displays the target EPR necessary to hold the target airspeed. The ETA and fuel predictions for the destination are displayed here. Flight plan modifications are also included in the ETA and fuel estimates. Optimum altitude is shown here. Optimum altitude is the most economical altitude at current gross weight. The maximum altitude is the highest altitude possible based on current gross weight, airspeed, and number of engines operating. The economy speed displayed on the cruise page is the least cost airspeed for the trip and is based on the cost index entered during preflight. LRC, or Long Range Cruise Speed, is the airspeed for maximum range. It ignores the cost index. Select Long Range Cruise for maximum range. Execute the modification. The Long Range Cruise airspeed is now active and the speed line displays the computed value. Select Economy when Long Range Cruise airspeed is no longer desired. Execute the modification. Economy airspeed is now active again. In addition to economy and long range cruise, any desired airspeed or Mach number may be entered into the target speed line. On long flights, step climbs increase fuel economy. Step information is displayed here. When the airplane is more than 500 miles from the destination airport and more than 200 miles from the top of descent, The step 2 altitude is the cruise altitude plus the selected step size. The crew may manually overwrite the step 2 altitude. The step size is ICAO, 4,000 feet. The crew may change the step size by entering any altitude between 0 and 9,000 feet in 1,000 foot increments. Change the step size to 2,000 feet. The step 2 altitude is now based on the new step size. The estimated time and distance to the most economical step climb point are displayed here. At the step point, the time and distance change to now.
The airplane does not climb automatically. To climb to the step altitude, first reset the MCP altitude to the new cruise altitude. The new altitude can be selected to the altitude line and executed to begin a climb. However, in a previous lesson, you learned an easier way. Pushing the MCP altitude selector modifies the FMC altitude line and executes the change in one step. Push the MCP altitude selector. The cruise page title displays cruise climb or cruise descent when climbing or descending to a new cruise altitude. The page title returns to cruise at level off. The ETA and fuel prediction assumes that the step is accomplished at the step point. Deleting the crew entered step size returns the step size to ICAO. ICAO cannot be deleted. When using the cruise page to make a step climb, the FMC decides where the climb point will be. However, on the legs page, the crew can specify the step climb point. Display the legs page. Usually, altitude constraints cannot be entered into cruise waypoints. One exception is when entering a step climb altitude. To make a step climb at Red Bluff, the altitude at Red Bluff is entered as normal, but add the letter S to the end of it. Enter a step climb to flight level 390 at Red Bluff. The scratch pad is incorrect. The scratch pad is incorrect. The scratch pad is incorrect. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key. The scratch pad is incorrect. Execute the modification. The step climb to flight level 390 now begins at Red Bluff. Select the cruise page to monitor the step climb. Set the MCP to the step altitude at Red Bluff. As in the previous example, the airplane does not climb automatically to the step altitude. After the airplane crosses Red Bluff, push the MCP altitude selector to climb to the step 2 altitude. The cruise page changes to the cruise climb page as before, and the airplane climbs at econ cruise speed. The cruise page is again displayed after level off. The FMC provides data about your flight progress to satisfy any ATC request for information. Every route legs page and associated waypoints has a corresponding route data page. The route data page displays ETA information for each route waypoint, fuel remaining for each route waypoint, 
and access to the Waypoint Win pages, which we will talk about in a moment. The Root Data page is displayed from the Root Legs page using the Root Data Prompt. Select Root Data Page 2. Touch the highlighted key. The previous page and next page keys are used to move back and forth between root data pages. The legs key or the legs prompt can be used to display root legs again. Returning to root legs with the legs key always displays root legs page 1 regardless of the page display. The legs prompt returns to the corresponding root legs page. FMC fuel and ETA predictions can be unreliable because of unforecast headwinds or tailwinds. The root data pages provide access to waypoint wind pages. The pages allow you to enter wind information for any root waypoint. Display the wind page for battleground. For each waypoint up to four altitudes, along with associated wind direction and speed, can be entered. A known outside air temperature may be entered to update temperature information. To enter new wind information for flight level 410, first enter the altitude on this line. The wind data is sorted and displayed by altitude, regardless of the order entered. Now enter wind direction and speed on the right. Execute the modification. Next, enter the outside air temperature for flight level 250. Execute the modification. The entered temperature is propagated to all altitudes using a standard lapse rate. The ETA and fuel predictions for battleground and all subsequent waypoints are now updated. Wind information can also be electronically updated in flight through Datalink. Display the FMC COM page. The prompts displayed on the FMC COM page provide access to the pages with Datalink commands. When READY is displayed, electronic Datalink is available for use. Pushing the line select key for wind displays root data page 1. Display root data page 1. Touch the highlighted key. A W indicates that wind information was previously entered for that waypoint. New or updated wind information can now be requested by data link. Request updated winds. Requesting displays when the data link request has been sent. Sent request displays when the ground station acknowledges receipt of the request. The message Wind Data Uplink Ready displays when new wind information is ready for loading into the active route. 
Uplink also displays over wind on the FMC COM page to indicate the data is ready for loading. Load the new wind information. The highlighted W indicates which waypoints have new wind data. Even though Alder and Battleground already have wind data, the uplink provides new data at these waypoints. Select the wind page for Battleground to review the wind data. The new winds and outside air temperature are highlighted. If desired, the crew can manually change any wind data before executing. Execute the new wind data modification to make it active. The data linked winds are now active and are used by the FMC to update ETA and fuel predictions. ATC requests a descent to flight level 310. Increase airspeed to 0.845 Mach. Enter new winds for Rogue Valley for flight level 290. Enter this data into the correct line. The scratch pad is incorrect. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key. Execute the modification. Request and load new flight plan wind information using data link.